All right, YouTube. Today we're gonna go play some Death Shadow. It's the same list I played last time I streamed. I played it this weekend in IQ. I didn't do too well. Kind of a rough tournament for the Hoden team. I was a little rusty. Went three and three. I beat Burn, lost to Burn, beat two Phoenix decks, lost to Tron, and I can't remember the last one. But it's a rough IQ. But we're gonna jump into it now. Play some modern. Play some Death Shadow. My favorite deck. <clears throat> Death Shadow won the GP. Played Ben Jones 75, I believe. I'm pretty sure. But woo to Death Shadow winning the GP. How's it going, Matt? Just got out of work, hanging out. Looking to cycle some street race and battle rage some Delver or battle rage some shadows. I've been playing some Grixis Delver recently, so I've got that on the on the mind. I got some new sleeves when I went to go play this weekend. Man, they feel nice. Good sleeves. Wow, we're already a minute in. A little slow this morning. What do people have jobs? All I have to do is complain. Maybe I'm getting sick. I feel like a tingliness in my throat. I would like to play first. And I would like to keep my turn two Gurma Hammer. We're going to lead on Polluted Delta in case we're playing against Burn and we want to go like Island Swamp. <clears throat> Which there's a world that one that happens. No bottles. No Shattering Glow. No. No, sir. Um, you should just use your bobbles when you have a fetch land. You know, I mean, sometimes you have to fire them off because they're like, um, they're card disadvantage. <clears throat> Exiles Lotus Bloom. Dece. We got a we got a good matchup here. Hand's not great against Ad Nas, but we have the tools to succeed. Alright, so we get to bobble, look at our top card and figure out what we want to do with it. Because we don't want it, we can fetch. If we do want it, we can shock. Stubborn Denial. We want that. We're not going to need it this turn. So. This prevents me from playing Shadow next turn, which might be a little loose. Unless I hit like a Street Wraith or a Thought Seize. But. We have the 5-5 five, five down. <clears throat> we have big angles in play. I like a discard spell. That wasn't a discard spell. I'm just going to fatal push my angler at the end of the turn just to enable delve. We could be in a little bit of trouble because we don't quite have like the necessary resources. I'm going to let this go. My opponent has enough mana. <clears throat> like mana is not going to be what beats them up here. Push that. I'm going to fetch just a thin here. We'll do it in our upkeep to feel smart. We might give me this game. I haven't drawn a discard spell. Oh, shoot. I could have played a Death Shadow last turn. Am I just stupid? Yeah, I did my math wrong. That was not good. What would we have? We'd be attacking for a million points right now. First game jitters. First game. Getting out of it. I just did my math wrong. Like I was like, oh, 15 minus 3 is 13. No, it's not. <clears throat> so what do we got here? We're going to have 10 points. 
we might not have 10 points next turn. We'll be one off. So we've got like, we've got a bunch of draws that win us the game. Providing our opponent doesn't have like Adnaz, Pact, plus uh, whatever it is rolled up. <clears throat> okay, so we counter this. My opponent needs to go land Simeon Spirit Guide to kill us, so we're just going to counter this. Because they need land, and they have five mana, they need the six mana, so they need land, Simeon Spirit Guide, Adnaz, Angel Grace, Pack Negation, okay. So what do you got? You got land into it? No, they don't. Huh. They must have a pack. All right, I might as well just start off with this. Spoil, spoils on life. So we're dead, right? One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's just take a spoils. I think we're super dead. <clears throat> so they have to go off in response to this. Oh no, they're gonna go spoils. Wait, they're just okay. So there's the Angel's Grace. So they just Angel's Grace off of this triple guide. <clears throat> yeah, so this is a tough game one for us. Well, not it's not even super tough. Like you can win game one, but I just didn't draw a discard spell. Go grab your shattering blows ready. I do not have any. I do not have any. I thought that was a little. Uh, so we still have to cast this. Oh, no, they're just going to kill me with a pack trick on the stack. All right, we're good. We're good. I have not played against Sultai, uh, Sultai Reclamation. All right, so we get Rejection. We get Surgicals. I mean, I'm more than so many cards here. Like, theoretically... Like, I'm not going to board in this many cards, but you can make arguments to have nine cards in, <clears throat> which we don't need, but. Well, we might get them all in there. I don't really like Battle Rage, even though Battle Rage can shorten the clock. I kind of like being able to counter the little, you know, the mana rocks. This counters ad nauseum itself. Surgical, this can shatter things. I mean, like, this is probably, these are probably too loose. Like, honestly, this might be loose too, and we just board like this. I could board in the brutalities, but, like, they're going to have four ley lines after sideboard. I probably need Battle Rage because of Leyline of Sanctity. I wonder if Leyline of Sanctity means I should board in more shadows. Or just try to counter everything. Maybe the extractions aren't even good. Because they're going to have Ley Lines likely. We have so much counter magic though. We should be able to push these things through. No, I do not have a shattering blow. I I do not I have not tried that card out yet. It wasn't the GP winning list though. I'm gonna sideboard like this. I like battle rage, sometimes you can cheese out a win through whatever it is. <clears throat> the enchantment. 
We could get brown here by a ley line. All right, we're gonna keep. We have to look at a lot of cards. It doesn't believe in the blow. It's a shame, really. It looks odd. Like I get why. Um. I get why it's there. But it it just it seems a little odd. Like being able to exile work while engine and like fight through a bridge is good. All right, so we got ley lines, tilt. So now we need to find a threat and counter spells. We don't need that. I honestly kind of just want to thought scour. I kind of just want to thought scour my opponent. Is that like too much of a meme? Hmm. I can't even thought scour them, right? Because I have to target them. It's target player. Can't even do that. All right, then I'm going to I'm going to hold my serum visions until. Next turn, just thought scour. <clears throat> Thank you guys for being this type of Phoenix. You should draw. All right, we're, we got plenty of those things. All right, Lotus Bloom, nice. This could be the issues with the surgicals in these matchup and this matchup because they don't really do that much. That's a nice draw. All right, we hit a Gurdad. We're going to cycle our Street Wraith. Or we're going to see our visions before we cycle Wraith. <clears throat> when you, what are your play patterns? Since you have two balls in hand, are you supposed to pop them right away? Yeah, most, most of the time you're just supposed to pop them. Because, like, their card, they're slow. Uh, we're going to cycle. Jeez. All right, we're going to shock ourselves and pass. Nothing really going for us right now. Which, these are the games we could lose. Like, we're just kind of dirtling. Like, it is tough as a Death Shadow deck to beat a functional hand. Uh, a Ley Line with a functional hand. Which is, like, what is happening to us. What is this at? This is at one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to rejection this. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We shall pass. I think the closest one is bottom, just because it's like purely there to just speed you up. Okay. It's like card disadvantage. Yeah, like you, you want to fire bobble off quick, in my opinion. You obviously want to bobble yourself if you can. What do we got, opponent? <clears throat> Angel's Grace, you got it. I'm going to stub this. Actually, before I put ad nauseum on the stack, before I stop that, I should surgical this pact. They have a guide. God darn it. They have a guide. What a tilt. <clears throat> so what do they got? They got one, two, three. There's nothing I can do here. Man. That's tough. Man, they have three Layline of Sanctities. Are you serious? They just get this. They go off here. Well, actually, no, they, they even exile the guide, so I can't surgical the guide to give me a turn, right? 
<laughs> they obviously have enough lands to kill me. I can't surgical the storm. I can't like surgical a guide. <clears throat> Man. That sucks. Right. I take this. There's no way out of this. I can't. It's one, two, three. Bang. Son of a gun. No, I'm not gonna make them play it out. Like they, 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 like in paper, I would be dead. That's frustrating. Is that is one of the better ones. That is one of the more lopsided ones in the format. But. Yeah, I would agree. I agree with you, Joey. I think Bobble is, like, one of the easier ones, though, because you just need to, like... Because you can't really afford to hold on to Bobble because of it's a slow trip. Like, you Bobble on your opponent's upkeep with their discard spell. Um, you know, you try to, like, Bobble yourself. Uh, we're going to keep this. It's a little sketchy because we have this as an abate. This is a black source. Did you check for both lightning storm and my land? Yeah. They had both of them, yeah. All right, opponent's mulligan to four. Hopefully we can turn it around. Everyone, congratulations to the Tech Edge podcast in chat right here. Joe DeJoy is going to Magic Fest. I don't know which one, but he top eighted Magic Fest Toronto this weekend. Phil. All right, no lands for our opponent mulligan to two. Yes. We're probably going to do the old. I'm going to go get a Blood Crypt. The, the optimal land is Watery Grave, but we're going to hope our opponent thinks we're playing Jund. Okay. So, I would be willing to bet we're playing against a combo deck. So, I'm going to board. I'm going to board like we're playing against a combo. I'm going to bring in these surgicals. I'm just going to board like the most popular deck is Phoenix. Phoenix probably wouldn't mulligan like that, but I'm just going to sideboard like this. 100% boggles. The concession I okay is gas. All right, this hand's pretty solid. It could be boggles. If it's boggles, how sick would that be if we get to like surgical at daybreak? Like, probably a spirit mantle. <clears throat> All right, playing against Tron. That makes sense as well. All right, surgical is not going to do a lot for us, but it might power. It might power out like a fast angler. We also might get to like at least take a threat. We don't want another cantrip, so let's go here. I'm gonna hold my street wraith because we might hit a serum visions. Plus, my man is like pretty much spoken for this turn. We might be able to take a payoff. So they put a card on top, so I'm pretty down. For just like taking this chromatic star and then surgicaling them. Because you know they kept a land on top so they could get their map. And if we take this chromatic star and surgical it, then they can't get green mana. So yeah, we're going to just upkeep, take this star, and then we're going to surgical it to shuffle their library because they kept a card on top. Let's see what we draw. Just a. But let's just take this. And we're doing this because it fucks up their uh, mess. Excuse me. It, it messes up their shuffle. Like, it's not great. It takes, like, some stars out of their deck and messes with their top card. And then we can see how they sideboarded. I mean, they don't sideboard. Like, they, they probably sideboard very similar to Death Shadows. They do um, all the other decks. They're green-black. So they have two dismembers. <clears throat> so 
So now if even if they draw if they draw a land, if they draw a land, my opponent says well play. Well played. <clears throat> and I'm gonna if I hit a land, I'm gonna be able to uh to play okay, so now we can play Gurdad with stub up, which is gasoline. So we don't really want to hit a land. Yeah, my opponent says it happens with Tron. That's what you sign up for. I'm not gonna sir I'm not gonna snap this thing off here yet. And again, I'm all right with. <clears throat> I just like the little things that you, you'll figure out. Like, you know, whenever anybody mulligans, you can figure out what they've got going on. All right, yeah, this gameplay super over. I played. Uh, I played what Brandon posted. What Brandon played at the GP, and I played like. I don't know. This is something like 18 of the 20, or no, it's 74 of the 75. I cut one card and added, uh, I added a rejection to the sideboard. All right, let's find, how do we kill them? We draw like fetch land into Thoughtseize. All right, well, we're not doing any of that now. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Let's 10 our opponent, and let's really hope there's no worm coil engine. They have four worm coils, which is the right thing to do if you're playing Tron right now. Yeah, worm coil is still a problem. And their hand was their hand's this plus four unknown cards or three unknown cards. Oh, gee. All right, they scoop it up. All right, worm dad. I hate playing against Tron. I'll be right back when we get. If only there was a red card. Yes, if only. But humans is still a deck. I still think humans is a good deck. It just ha it like has this just un like it's atrocious Phoenix matchup. It looks like and if they can figure that out, I think it's a good deck. And I think that I think that it's it's really it's not good to just like dismiss that deck. This is a kind of hand that's going to get browned by an Ether Vial on one, but like such is life. We have a turn two Shadow. It kind of gets browned by that too. All right, that's something. We're gonna go get Watery Grave. No, I'm gonna get a Blood Crypt. Let's just like keep him thinking for a second. There's no sense giving it away, and we might want to fetch. Like we're probably gonna fetch Watery Grave. Oh jeez. Oh wow. Um. All right, well, they're never going to be able to cast that Kiki Jiki as it stands. I think I'm just going to take this Reflector Mage. They can, like, tap my land, whatever. I don't think that is the case. I think that Humans is good right now, except for Phoenix. And Phoenix is, like, 10% of the format. Humans is good against the decks that are good against Phoenix, in my opinion. Like, that matchup's not good. But, oh, that's interesting. That's not that interesting, I guess. We could just get wrecked here. <clears throat> Very cool, Johnny. I don't think that he, I think the humans Tron matchup is, like, decent. Like, it's, it's pretty 50-50. I don't have a Legacy Death Shadow list I like. So what are we looking for? We're looking for Battle Rage or Removal at this point. Restoration Angel is a tough card to beat. I 
Again, these are all bad. All right, I'm gonna try to bobble them on their upkeep because I don't really know what this deck is playing. Yeah, they grove me, they grove me. Yeah, it's the Vanifair pod deck, which I think is probably pretty decent against Death Shadow and how it's made right now. Just because you have enough ways to like keep it out of combat. Like it's it's, it's never beating a it's never beating a uh, battle rage, but like the whole stubborn denial aspect of your deck is like really good. Are they thinking about like what they should be? Um, the the Vanifair pod deck doesn't play any creatures, right? Yeah, Elders Evolution on the face. I forgot about that card. <clears throat> no, I am not going to London. Joe to Joy is. All right, we got our opponent's time. Opponent lost connection. Okay. Might as well bring the deck list back up here. So, like. The, I think that, oh, well, we're back here. It looks like we're back. Okay, so they're fetching. You got it. You got it, dude. How's it going, Tannen? Do you stream today, Tannen? Even Restoration Angel is hard to beat here. All right, and they have Grove on top. Nice. That's gas. That is just gas. <sighs> Way too tired, old sick. All right, we're gonna take like one more draw step, probably, because we're not even gonna beat. We're not even going to be Restoration Angel how our hand looks at the moment. All right. Okay. I guess we can. I guess we can continue to play Magic. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll pass. So their hand is. Resto Exarch. Maybe I should have just killed the Kiki Jiki. Yeah, I might be playing with a little bit of fire there. The problem is, I probably should just kill this Kiki Jiki and then plan to deal with the Restoration Angel via this. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of this. There's, there's just like. There's just like no world where this thing is good for us. Because like if you just let that Kiki Jiki live, we're just like playing this weird standoff. I thought you were going to play Esper at the tournament, Tannen. You just get like a change of heart. Decide to decide to get down with this. Oh man, I I messed up. I fetched, which turned my revolt off. That was bad. I was like, oh, I wanted to fetch here. That was stupid. He's got white right here, right? I'm all over the place today. Did I just cut myself off revolt? God, this restoration angel is gonna kill me.
It's an annoying land to see, though. Like, looking at this. We also want to win matches, plus what level? Yeah, that's what it is. All right, let's get in there with Germag. We're so dead this game. This is probably a miserable. The way that our deck's configured, at least game one, it's probably pretty miserable. Yep, you got it, dude. I'm also kind of playing like an ape. So, like, that's not good as well. Because they're just going to, like, I don't know, tap my Gurmag Angler for the rest of the game. Oh, shoot. I had to plug my computer in. Watch out, chat. <laughs> the dad bod. Um, but you had to play. There was there was Azorius Aggro. It's a three D stream. Isn't the Azorius Aggro deck a tough matchup, Tannen, for the blue deck? Pity boy. Twitch chat. Want to say hi to Phil? I need to turn some lights on. It's getting dark. We're going for a ride, chat. Pity boy. Phil. Phil, you want to say hi to Twitch chat? There's... There he is. Oh, they have a, another TTGT Mirror Breaker that we could beat if we had not used our whatever it is, but my sideboard was good for that matchup. Seven eight cards are held out. That's what you got to do in standard, especially a deck like that. You just kind of hope to, you know, hit your marks and then address the rest of it with the sideboard. All right, so let's get everything over here that kills a creature, and we'll figure out what we can fit. So, I don't think stubborn denial is that good because. If they, like the things they play is like Eldritch Evolution, which is very good against Eldritch Evolution. Court of Calling, they should be sideboarding out a lot of Court of Callings because I'm going to kill everything after sideboard. Uh, Inquisition of Kozlek is probably not that great either. Faithless Looting is not that great because our deck is going to become honed. I think for the reason, the same reason they should be cutting, we're going to go like this. We're going to bring these seven. The Coligons command might be too cute though. Exactly. Brandon Dalloway just wants to be me. That's what it comes down to. Pity boy. Yeah, TBR is good against the things that like to block. I could go like this, shave two more here, and bring these in. Because the Gurmag Angler is not great when they block everything. Yeah, I think we're going to try to do this. We're just going to kill things, recur. Like, we can we can play, like, the Grixis Control plan here while just going over the top with Death Shadow if we need to, or Gurmag Angler. I was going to try this. Collective Brutality is decent on the play, and it also hedges in if they kept in, like, Cord or Eldritch Evolution. I think Stroke's a little loose. I would like to play first. But Stroke, yeah, I, mean, I can see that. Uh, Dylan is Gurmag. Thank you very much for the follow. That hand, that name is awesome. Um, Endless Mike with a sub. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm a little behind. <laughs> that might be good. Stroke might be Stroke might be better than I thought it was. I think I've got a mulligan in this hand. Like this card's never turned on. We have a three drop. Yeah, this hand's kind of medium, but we're going to keep it. Mm. 
All right, my opponent keeps. We're going to put this on the bottom. Could have kept it on top, but I guess we're going to go fetch water right now. Phil. What are you doing, Phil? Phil, what are you doing down there? Billy, come on. Hey, bud. You're too big to be messing around underneath the desk. You're too big. You're too big, bud. Germany on twos pretty often, especially if you like commit to it. I might have to turn on the light here in a second. That light behind me is ugly. I should fix that. I can see it like how it looks behind. Wow. What I would do for a removal spell. If I just take one of these and then I get to look at two cards to kill another one. Oh, another hand, other hand really does anything. I'm really tempted to just take one of these mana darts. But <clears throat> but it's just not that great. I probably should just like be an adult and take this reflect mage, because like eventually this reflect mage is gonna body me. It's either that or take the resto. Oh, do you think I should have taken the resto, Phil? What do you think? Dead. I don't know. I don't know. I, I play Amulet Titan. Alright. If you take the mana dork, I'm unfollowing you. All right. All right, well now we can get this resto out of here. They drew another mana dork. <coughs> of course. How's it going, Dito? <laughs> Four, five shadowing blows. Oh, my opponent hit a hand. Hit a land. How lucky! All right, I should read what Rebel Arc does. All right, when Rebel Arc leaves the battlefield, return two, two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. I wonder if I should just keep playing this game, or maybe I should just like go to the next match. I wonder. I wonder. Is we're gonna get beats by Noble here. They even drew this. They drew this for the Rubbins. Are you serious? I just don't want to play Magic anymore. The Red Bar is so annoying. I'm gonna take another draw step, and then we're gonna go to the next game. Okay. Okay. This has been like a very nice league. We got, we had a tough draw against Adnaz game one, and then we got nutted on a five card hand. And then that happened. I should have just not streamed. I should have just gone to, I should have just like gone to bed. <clears throat> Dude, I lost the Adnaz round one. It was so bad. I sat there and I just was so sad. I was like, I don't, oh my god, I'm such a disgrace. May I just like start drinking and that will help. Should move to prison, Dylan. I have no interest in locking people out of games. Oh, wow. MTG uh, London. There's going to be a Grand Prix pre-release. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, I'll put the tweet in the link here.
Don't you lock the glass with shadow? I end the game. Oh, this is why. Okay, okay, okay. That's different than playing a Chalice of the Void. I hope everyone's having a good day. 550 round trip from Dulles. That's a lot of money. No Terramander? Dude, I have I have a sick Rug Delver Terramander deck for modern that I just need to wait to until I feel like burning tickets to play. Yep, yeah, and then we lost the pod. I didn't draw a removal spell in either two games. Well, no, I drew, I drew, I drew a removal spell. I drew two removal spells in game one and just played like an ape. Just an absolute ape. How bad is? Um, it's not that bad. I mean, like, it's obviously not ideal. Like, it's not really what you want to be doing. But if you have another blue fetch land, you might want to play a split. All right, we're going to keep this hand. Should I mess with the shocks then? Nah. Hey, do you prefer Ley Lines or Liliana of the Void? Last night, Star Wars Ghost Rider. I don't really like Ley Lines. Are we playing a mirror? Are we playing a mirror? And if we are playing a mirror, do I want my thoughts he's stubbed? Probably not. But if they want to stub my serum visions, then they can do that. Well, no, I'm actually, well, <laughs> I'm going to thought seize them because if, if this does get stubbed, it's, we're likely not, oh, geez, we're playing against burn. All right, I'm glad I didn't cycle a bunch of stuff. Surprised they didn't submit. I mean, they probably knew what, what I was playing. We're so dead this game. What do I want to take? It doesn't really matter. Should probably take one of the one. But the problem is, if I take a one mana spell, I should take. The lava spike, so that they have a clunkier next turn, I guess. Or this rift bolt. Yeah, we're gonna take the rift bolt. Make sure the next turn's clunkier. Take it easy, Johnny. Your opponent's definitely slow playing this. We need Death Shadow plus land next turn. And then we're in it. I probably could have taken Lightning Bolt also because I can point it at a shadow. All right, I'm going to go get an island. Cycle this. They are playing very slowly. Put this on the bottom. I'm kind of tempted. No, I'm not going to put this on top because I'm definitely thought scouring. So I can just thought scour next turn. I don't think I want a third land. So let's put this on the bottom. I can just thought scour at the end 
of that turn. I'm gonna, I want to look. I want to find a Death Shadow or a Stubborn Denial really bad. We don't want this. Yeah, this third land is just not what we're looking for either. And the reason why I didn't Thought Scour there is because like I specifically knew what I wanted. Okay, so there goes the Rift Bolts. So Drew Rift Bolts. I really don't want to cycle my Street Wraiths. I think I'm dead anyways here. I also don't want to play out this Angler because it's just going to get Searing Blazed. Because if it gets Searing Blazed plus Bolted, then I don't have anything going on. So, can I even afford to wait, though? Because, like, next turn, they're, they're literally 100% just going to Bolt me EOT, untap, hit this, Searing Blaze my Angler, and then I can't win the game. So, the alternative is if I hit a, if I cycle this and hit a land, but I know they have one, two, three, four, they have, they have three, six, nine, yeah, I can't cycle my street race either, which is like super dead. I think I'm pretty dead, Brandon. If I draw a Death Shadow off the top, that would be gas. All right, Lava Spike's good. Skewer the Critics Community, you got it. So this is their hand right here. And I am just... Well, not 100% dead, but if I draw a Death Shadow, there's a chance that their hand's too clunky and I can kill them over two turns. All right, we're going to play that. Yeah, it is. It's, it, it turns on Snap Stub, which is nice. Like, what's going to happen here... So our opponent drew another land. So we're still in pretty good shape. Because, like, what's going to happen is we're going to go... We're going to fetch... A EOT. They're going to try to Boros Charm us. We will stub. I would like them to just borrow us charm at the end of the turn so that they can, like, so that we can stub here. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm going to get a blood crypt. All right, that's good. So we want Blood Crypt. All right, we can't play Gurdad. <clears throat> Our opponent hit a spell here. We're dead. We're dead as a doorknob. But right, they're gonna look like they're gonna upkeep it. Oh, we drew a stub. No way. It's 
Still can't cast the second angler and hold up stub, but I mean, if our opponent has to fetch for some reason, do this so that we can beat a creature off the top. I guess we're not beating a creature off the top anyways. Maybe they drew a land. You know, if we win this game, I don't think we're going to. No, we're not. The fact they're shocking is we're definitely not winning this game. And we're dead. We made it close, but it really wasn't that close throughout the game. We just couldn't get a threat on early enough. All right, so here we want these six. And these six come out. And we're good. Outskilled. Dude, I've been outskilled this whole league. What do I even have left for, like, gems? Dude, I'm so moto poor. I burnt so many play points this weekend. Dude, I only have nine event tickets. I have to buy three more tickets to get into the league after we get dumpstered here. What a tilt. People who call Burn a good matchup in the year of 2019. I think playing against Burn is fun. This is so gross. I'm going to mulligan. I'm going to keep. I'm gonna put that on top. And then my opponent's gonna goblin guide me. And I'm gonna get him. If that makes you a sociopath. I like it, it's fun. Like, oh my god, they didn't play goblin guide? Your opponent loses game three. I wanted a goblin guide so bad so I could draw land. So what are we doing here? I can go get water. I can go get blood. No, what are we doing here? Think about my lands. I can't get steam vents. I probably should go get watery grave with this one. I could have thought he's there to give myself the chance to play Death Shadow. <clears throat> hmm. I kind of just want to take a Lava Spike. Just to make sure they can't go like Lava Spike, Skier, Skier. But if I take Rift Bolt... I probably should take Rift Bolt to make it so that they have to cast Lava Spike and then deal me damage again. Because, like, if I take Rift Bolt, then they have to, like, the, the Lava Spike enables the Flurry. The Petal Locals are a lot more off with their Burn spells. I haven't played against Burn that much, Brandon. I do think I need to, like, get my Shadow into play eventually, though. But you might be right. I kind of want to take Lava Spike because if they suspend Rift Bolt, at least I'm going to know when these are coming. And Lava Spike lets them go like, um, lets them like do the flurry whenever they want. So yeah, I think I'm going to take Lava Spike and I'm going to let my opponent, I could fetch a Swamp, hang on. Oh, I should have thought about that. I guess I probably should get my red mana. Yeah, that was stupid. Because like now I'm likely not double spelling next turn. And does this do any target so we can hit my shadows as well? So let's go get
But I want to know how much. I guess I should leave. Okay. So my opponent Boros charms me. And the reason why I didn't fetch there is because I wanted to know. I didn't. I, I still don't know how much damage I want to take. I don't know what the brutality plan is at this moment. So now I just want to take Rift Bolt, I think. <clears throat> Dylan is the best guy I know, Dylan. And it starts with an H. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Andy. Or Andrew. What do you mean, hold it until I cast bird spells, by the way? What are you talking about? Like here, I kind of just want to go Boros Charm, Rift, take Boros Charm, take Rift Bolt. Like fetch a basic. And then leave them with these clunky skewers. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And then we can figure it out from there. Yeah, I'm going to take Boros Charm, take Rift Bolt, fetch basic swamp. Okay. Now, if I shock myself here, go to twelve. I'm still, I'm still dead to a. Uh, I still died to like a, a burn spell pointed at, um, my shadow. Thoughtsies afterwards. Hold hot force charm. Hope they double whip. They whip. So I think a good draw for us here would be like an Eidolon. The best draw for me next turn would be a Gurmag Angler. If we can hit Gurmag Angler, then we would be in business. Oh my god. The guy the guy I'm playing on Moto is in my Twitch chat. Are you serious, Trioxis? Come on, dude. He's right in the Twitch chat. Yeah, he's cause he's you're waiting for the delay right here. Like Um, I don't know if I can ban someone from my chat, but they're literally right in the chat. I just banned them, but I, I don't know. They can probably still watch, which is what sucks. But yeah, the guy's right in the chat. Like you're, like you're, you're a piece of garbage, dude. Like, not only are you cheating, but you are also taking away free content from the 39 people that are watching right now and the people that are going to be watching on YouTube. Like, you're just garbage. <clears throat> All right. Um, so we want to turn this bobble into a card. I kind of want to keep the bobble because I want to find Gurmag Angler. Really bad. I, I think I want to just continue to churn through my deck and find Angler. I can just hold this brutality. I'll do this right now. 
We're drawing a Helix. Okay. So Helix lets them six me. Yeah, that's frustrating as all hell. But that is the world we live in. All right, so they helix me, skewer me. Okay, I go to six. Okay, so now I can two mode this, ditch this, play Death Shadow, which is probably what we're doing here. We're going to hold this push. Escalate with two modes. Ditch this. Which is take this lightning helix and then play Death Shadow. <clears throat> if they draw a burn spell, they kill me. But such is life. Such is life. Uh, land kill. Well, land doesn't necessarily kill me, but all right. This is what you all should do whenever you're playing Moto. You have someone that does this. One side is from my Twitch. One side is from my dude. We might we could we could do it. One side is from my Twitch chat. All right, so we can push that and kill that. Let me eat this pizza and I'll tweet out the same thing. Great. I appreciate you, Mr. Dalloway. I just tweeted about it. I really hope my opponent is proud of themselves. If they are still in here, which I believe they are. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they got out because of the ban. I think I have to still kill this. I can't let this deal damage to me. Because if I don't let it deal damage to me, I have my opponent covered. Because I push this, if I draw a Thought Seize or a Fetch Land, they're dead. Okay, so the last card's Rift Bolt. So now we push this. And hope we draw like a land or a Thought Seize. Oh, another stub's good. So we're going to stub this Rift Bolt, and then we're going to stub whatever the next burn spell they has that deals this damage, and then they can't cast this one.
Yeah, dude, get out of my face. I hope that guy is proud of himself. What's it like? <laughs> yeah see watch this they're not even gonna, they're they're literally not going to attack with this they're not even going to attack this is great well all right well maybe they left after getting shamed out of it <clears throat> Looks like they left, or they were just like looking to save face here. Like, oh, I did leave. <coughs> All right. Again, we just run it back the same way. And this hand's very good. And our opponent Mulligan? Death playing it off. All right. We're going to kill that. Oh, even he'll land. I think our, our hand's like nuts. One, two, three, four, five. So we're just gonna push this. We're just gonna push this now to deal with it. We're gonna fetch a basic. So I saw that they were taking a long time to make their play. So I just checked the Twitch chat because there's a lag between the game and what I'm doing. And uh, I just lined up, and they had a guy that was Strioxis. My opponent's name was in Twitch chat as well. I didn't want to discard a card, but I guess that didn't really matter. It would have been technically right to uh, to do it, do it, to wait for the trigger. You, you're, you're right because I could have easily discarded this. Team or Battle Rage on top. Does that change anything? Team or Battle Rage probably makes me go get. Steam vents. We're gonna be at 17. Going to 14. I can discard spell them. I really want to get steam vents. I think I'm going to. This might be aggressive, but unless their hand has nothing in it, we're gonna get a spell out of this at least. Um, we probably won't need this, and I think with the Faithless Looting, we don't need the Serum Visions. Alright, there's the Wooded Foothills. So let's start off here. Tilt. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I really don't want to play my Death Shadow because it could get hit with a Lightning Bolt. So I think we're just going to wait on that. You also want to ditch looting. So I wanted to keep looting because I wanted to get red mana. If the... If the Battle Rage hadn't been there, I would have gotten rid of that.
I'm just gonna do the. I'll do this right now in case I don't know. Like I don't think I can draw anything that matters. They're, they're drawing skewer. So skewer can hit my death shadow. It can't hit my death shadow. It's like getting red mana for rage, but I also think vision leading is greater than visions is right. Hmm. Okay, so last card skewer. They're flooding out, and that's what they deserve. So I'm going to deal five damage to myself, which put me at six. So they crack this fetch, they're dead. That's free information. So I wonder if it's correct for me to fetch right now and go to five. Because the last thing that I want them to do is go skewer my shadow and then bolt my shadow if they draw lightning bolt. But I think we're far enough ahead here where we just can play like how do we lose? Like is it worth it? If they draw lightning bolt, I'm at seven. <coughs> They don't, if they do that, you just flashback looting and dig for another threat. I guess it's like a pretty solid, like, what are they going to do with no cards in hand? Why do you think it was wrong, Nick? Because of this? Because of the skewer interaction? I can buy that. Plus, also, if they draw re reasonably well off the top, they're going to be able to respond to whatever I do. So... I can go Snap Inquisition. Snap Inquisition gets rid of this, puts me to nine. They put me to six, and they're hellbent. I think I'm gonna go Snap Inquisition. Yeah, I'm gonna shock eye. Okay, because like we're either hitting this. Because we're guaranteed hitting a spell. Hmm. So now we just crack them for four. They go to 11. And then next turn, we can just fetch a tap land and kill them. I don't know which one Nick is. Nick Kilgard, you take three damage in the discard or net three damage. You didn't need the two life. I would argue that I did need the two life, but keeping, I can definitely see a lot of value of keeping the discard spells because of this, which is just something I haven't recognized yet. God, I'm glad we have 57 people in here watching me about to beat a ghoster. That just makes me very happy. I'm very happy that y'all are here with me and we're about to beat a cheater. Rift ball. All right, opponent's dead.
and they know they're dead. <clears throat> well, so let's say that like, let's say that I, I do get help from chat. Okay. Occasionally like Brandon, it, Brandon like helps me in chat. Biggest thing. Okay. The amount that Brandon helps me in chat does not offset how much I lose by streaming. So like, so like if Brandon or Nick gave good advice there, then, um, then, uh, that's going to give me probably like 5% in my match. Okay. The fact that I am streaming give like automatically takes away like 15% of my play. <clears throat> like, I think that like, if you were doing something like I am choosing to handicap myself by stream, I am donating my time to whoever wants to do this partially because I like streaming my opponent is taking advantage of that. Playing devil's advocate like a hero. It might not be legitimate cheating, but like my opponent is getting an unfair, is choosing to take an unfair advantage and I believe that's dishonest. The fourth stub is gas. As long as Ether Vile stays out of the format, we're in good shape. Um, I really don't like this hand. My opponent mulligan. I think I'm gonna mulligan too because my opponent mulliganed. But I would like to see a hand with a threat, a discard spell, or a removal spell. Like, this is just so much air. Like, this hand's gas. Me not getting enough sleep the night before a tournament, something that hurts my performance, doesn't mean I should have a friend help me the day out. Okay. I, let's just say, well, I, I understand what you're saying. My opponent is making a decision. Because, like, I, would, I could play this stream and I could have zero people in here. And that's okay. I would still do it. My opponent is making a decision to go to my stream to take percentage points directly away from me and get perfect information. I get like, I have gotten help from the chat before. I'm not going to lie. Like they chat has helped me win games of magic because they produce good lines of play. And I learn from them. But the fact that I am here streaming myself takes away so much percentages anyways from it. Like, just streaming in general makes it so much more difficult to play Magic. I don't know when the Pro Tour is. I know it's soon. Who are getting coached, etc. Like, like, maybe I'm using, like, a poor terminology you know, there's a chance. Well, I'm just going to assume we're not playing against Burn here. Um, I don't think we want a third land, even though it lets me cast double Death Shadow next turn. How good is casting double Death Shadow next turn? It is likely good. I'm just going to cycle into it. Like, I could just put my head down and go full linear, and I think I'm... I think it gets Scalding Tarn I'm going to. And I'm going to fire off I'm going to go, I'm going to fire off another one of these two. Well, no, he's not the ghost under the handle. Like, let's not, he has a question. Okay, let's not be, let's not be mean to him. I, I understand where you're coming from. I think that. Jeez, I'm crow. You've given six subs? Thank you, Andrew. 
Um, I'm going to cycle one more time because I think I'm going to commit to the head down Death Shadow plan here. Yeah, I mean, I, I've streamed, I've streamed magic. Yeah, I appreciate you, Andrew. Okay, my full linear plan doesn't appear to be working. And this is kind of the problem with the line that I took. Yeah, like I, I essentially choose to donate my time to the community because it helps me professionally to stream. Like me just sitting here talking to you, you all great people for whatever, eight hours a week makes me better at my job. It making me better at my job is what I'm taking out of it for value. I lose money streaming. I, I have made money streaming. I, I just, I 100% lose money streaming because streaming while playing Magic is difficult. My opponent chooses to take advantage of that. Well, we have a rug deck here. I don't, I'm not really wild about jamming the Lightning Bolt deck here. I should fetch, I should be an adult. Yes, like, I, like, Whoa. Oh, I'm getting growth spiral. Oh, are you gonna do a grove of the fucking burn willows? Are you serious? There's another grove of the burn willows here. All right, well, at least we get to play Gurmag Angler potentially. I think I'm gonna put this on the bottom. And I really wanna just put this land on top to outpace. No, it's probably just too loose of me to do that. The Gurmag Angler is going to have to do the heavy lifting. I have not played against Scape Shift in a while. Oh, this is the... All right. This is like the Wilderness Reclamation deck. Someone in my chat was talking to me about this earlier. Wow, another... All right. So these death shadows are blank pieces of cardboard, baby. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna play Gurmag Angler. And that's what we're gonna do there. I think I need to get a little bit more uh, light going on here. BRB chat. <laughs> okay, so that's what they drew. This is gone. They have mystical teachings. It's the only other card that I don't know about. All right, I'm just going to crack in here. Um, and I think I'm just going to go snap. What's like the nut thing I could hit? I could go Thought Scour. Into, I'm just going to snap. I'm just going to snap Serum Visions. Like, I'm looking for like four, the other two Street Wraiths. Um, I don't know. I'm probably just looking for Thought Seize. Stubborn Denial. Uh, put on the bottom. These just aren't going to do it for me. I'm going to hold. Well, I can probably just play this land out because. All right. So they're going to Mystical Teachings on Taparuski out. Okay. If you didn't want to play your shadow under this board, I wanted to leave the serum visions in my graveyard to snap back, Brandon. If that's what you're referring to. So this teaching is going to get me like, going to get my opponent like a board wipe. Is that, is that what's going to happen here? Spellburst. 
All right. That seems like a real weird one to get. They have a Snapcaster Mage on top. Okay. All right, we hit stub. Is it? Okay. My opponent's got Spellburst, Steam Vents. How did I gain three life? All right, I'm getting my Gurdad. I think like everything that could have gone wrong in this game is going wrong. How did I gain three life? That's odd. Is that like a moto bug or something? Okay, so counter target spells are converted mana cost X buyback. What I want to do is I want to go here. They're going to counter spell this. I think I'm going to stub this, take their Snapcaster Mage. No, I'm not going to stub this. Because for them to, to uh, spell burst like a stubborn denial is going to cost them a lot of mana. Yeah, like this is okay. Might not be able to get Gurmag Angler in play. Just kidding. We can get Gurmag Angler in play. That's how we drew it up. Then we attack. Yeah, this deck seems kind of like a meme. But like they drew Double Grove against the Death Shadow deck. Like that's that's gonna be tough. Well, snap, we have Snap Cryptic covered, right? I should have fought over it there. I wanted to be able to counterspell a Wilderness Reclamation. And they couldn't go land, Wilderness Reclamation, Snap, Spellburst. That was why I did what I did there. There, Nick. If that's what you're referencing. But I'm going to have to fight on Snapcaster Cryptic Command anyways, likely. Oh, we're not doing anything. They have Groves. Dude, we have double Grove in play. Our opponent is taking us to Brown Town. In all reality, I probably should just cast these Death Shadows in case I have to recast my uh, Gurmag Angler at some point. Because there's no way I'm going to get these into play if my opponent doesn't let me. Yeah, I'm definitely just going to cast these into turn. Like... I had the stub when I when I decided to Inquisition. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast these in case my opponent like goes cryptic bounce your angler. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do one more because then I can no, because that's one, two, three, four, five, and then I can delve and have a thing up, so that's what I'm gonna do there. I mean I could just like I wanna keep these just to be able to looting away and maybe there's a world where I get down low enough, but
There are many aspects of this game that are very brutal. All right, this Steam Vents is gone, I think. I think they played this. How much does this thing cost? Like seven mana to flashback? All right, we've we drawn everything we don't need. All right, they go to one. They're going to miss school teachings for something. Then they've got like... We only have one bolt left in our deck for a reach. I don't see a good way to get out of this. Thank you, Mr. Dalloway. What did they get? They revealed, they took a teachings. They're just teachings for teachings. So that means that this thing is dead. We'll play Steam Vents Taps. Okay. You have teachings for cryptic? That's a slow way to do it, bud. Should do it now if they're going to do it. Okay. All right, teachings for cryptic. No, I don't think I don't think they're getting Nexus. Nexus doesn't do anything for you unless you have a draw spell going. Like now they're just bouncing my angler. I hope I draw bolt. Bolt off the top would be decent. Drop bolt. I probably honestly should just tap out for this thing because they're likely going to set up a chain. And they're going to go for it 100%. I probably should have just been ditching my shadows also. Not much, Archmage. You're here for the dog. The dog is napping. It's almost the, it's almost the dog's feed time. So I need to actually deal with this angler. We have it going for us that we have a lot of inevitability right here. Like, they're at one. So, like, an end-of-turn Snapcaster Mage with as much um, of this as we have. We probably should have been ditching our shadows more aggressively, too. I mean, he, he likely knows. He's just sitting there salting off somewhere. Rob, you missed us win after getting savagely ghosted. So look at that. I just gained three life. That's what it says right here. Wait, how is that happening? Here's Wilderness. Okay. Where you got, my friend? No, three life. They only have two robes. Thought sees you. My boat's got a timeout. They just have remand. All right. Unfortunately, they have mystical teachings though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they have mystical teachings for like another remand. I kind of just want to dump these shadows. 
to make it so I can delve easier. Maybe that's loosey goosey though. I'm just gonna pass. Well, I'm gonna ditch one of them. Is my mic really low? I'm sort of far away from it. How are you doing tonight, Rafi? I, I mean, if we would have fought for it, Nick, is, is it still correct to do that? The flashing is back. Teachings for teachings, okay. Expansion explosion. That ought to do it. I didn't count there if I was supposed to shoot that thing. Thanks for enjoying yourself on YouTube. Thanks for finally convincing me to take the draw on the mirror. Been waiting a lot more. Yeah, that's 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 how you do it. I might have missed that I was actually supposed to like do something here. My dad. I'm just dead. Well, they don't actually kill me here. I could draw a lightning bolt. Seriously. Teachings. What are they teaching for? Just more counter spells? Nexus of Fate. All right. I yield. I yield, opponent. I don't know if we're actually dead here. Like, uh, like how many Nexus of Fates can this deck actually play and still like be all right with it? All right. Um, these have to be good. These are probably decent. These might be good. I don't know. What do we not want? I don't want these. Fatal push likely isn't good. Dismember might be okay. They might board in some creatures, but I, I don't know. I don't know what their deck what their deck looks like. These battle rages probably aren't great either. I can give him one of these, maybe. Like, what do we think? Do we think, like, if their deck just, like, dies if we surgical uh, teachings or a wilderness reclamation? Like, is that loose? I do not know. I think I'm going to bring in the surgicals. Because we might be able to shut down, like, their complete engine. But also, like, none of my other cards are very good, right? Like, is, is Surgical better than Battle Rage? Maybe I should be able to bolt myself. I probably should be able to bolt myself in case we're playing against Groves. Do I even want this Faithless Looting if my decks become tuned? I don't think so. Maybe we're going to cut this. Bring these in so that I can bolt myself or bolt them. Keep in, bring in two Surgicals. Yeah, I'm not super excited about it. I can't even Surgical and Excess of Fate. I would like to play first. This hand is okay. I, I thought I decided out my dismembers. Huh. I must have left one in on accident.
So we just take this wilderness. They have the grove. I can go brutality, escalate it, and ditch this dismember. Just to be able to start fueling this delve. Jesus. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to ditch this dismember. Maybe I should have boarded out a shadow. Alright, gain a life. They drew a land. Okay. So they have Snapcaster Mage X. How do we sideboard? With one dismember in? What a tilt. So there's a watery grave. Uh, so they cast Gurmag Angler. Tilt. That's a pretty good one, though. I'm going to bolt them because it puts them in an increment of five. And I'm just not ever going to get anywhere bolting me. Okay, so they drew that. So we know four out of their five cards. So we're just really going to hope that they didn't draw a remand. If they drew a remand, we'd probably lose on the spot. So I could just jam Gurmag Angler, which I'm going to do. If they drew Remand, we couldn't beat it. Even if we wait, because if we, unless we find a discard spell. But even if we draw a discard spell because we only have one black source, it wouldn't have worked out. If they draw a Wilderness Reclamation here, I'm going to feel bad a little bit, but. If they draw a Cryptic here, I'm going to feel dumb. Basically, if they draw any four mana spell here, I'm going to feel so stupid. But if they don't, if they drew a four mana spell, what a tilt. Don't bounce my freaking angler. Come on. I have a heart. <sighs> what do the planeswalkers do, though? Like, if they're a combo deck and they're going to go off and kill me with Wilderness Reclamation, the, the Planeswalkers aren't going to matter, right? Okay, so I knew I had that. All right, Bobble's not bad. So they're drawing Nexus. So we know our opponent has a Nexus coming. So what is this doing? This is just teachings for another teachings, right? Like we should just let this go. So this is gone. Days in Modern will be sweet. So tilting. So they get they revealed another they revealed a dispel. Okay. Dispel is not a bad one. So we play this island. So I could cast Cryptic Command. And Cryptic or could cast Col or Collective Brutality. That's gonna get a snapcaster out of their hand. Which 
which is likely worth it. And they're drawing this, which we can't beat either. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're either they're just gonna cast this. I don't think we can have them continue to cast these these teachings. Like, if I just do this now, they go snap cryptic. If I don't do it, they get the flashback teachings. So I think I'm just gonna do this now. Feed this to a cryptic command. Oh, I'm shuffling my shadow deck. Spell burst and they buy it back. Gross. Ugh. Can we see what? Spring well, dig it. Okay, they didn't hit a land. Cycle this. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Like if they have remand, we know they're drawing remand, so like it's just not gonna get any better for us, so we're just gonna go for it. All right, can't believe that worked. Again, we just get destroyed by another cryptic command, but like, such as life. They're not drawing a land, so they're missing there. So they have the remand in their hand. Paper feels good. Nice. This deck is, I, I'm currently getting small dicked energy out of this game. I would like to untap with a lot going on. So they're just gonna untap and snap cryptic me. They're gonna snap cryptic me through remand. Because they have dispel, one, two, three. I guess I just make them do it? I don't know. This is awful. All right, Dispel, that one was there too. Is it one of those nights? I'm not having any fun. Like, this isn't a real modern deck, though. Like, they have, they have Remand still? Jesus. I think I'm off it. I am off it. <clears throat> Ugh. Blah. That was a tough league. What do we play against? This one was... This was Adnaz. This was Wilderness Reclamation. I don't remember what this was. Wasn't this another halfway decent matchup that we just, like, lost?